Hey y'all, good morning and welcome back to the Little Ranch Farm. Uh, today is actually absolutely gorgeous. We had two days of winter um, that was absolutely horrible for here in Texas. Um, a lot of people from Texas absolutely love the cold weather because it's a break from the heat, but I actually love the heat and I am miserable when it is cold. The whole reason why we moved south so we didn't have to endure the cold anymore, but Unfortunately, we still have a few days that we have to put up with cold weather. And so, today, not a whole lot of projects um, going on, mainly just tending the garden, taking care of the animals. Okay, so what I wanted to share with you guys today is more of a devotional um, and how God really spoke to me when I was working in the garden the other day um, before the cold snap. And so, um, I want to talk about the caterpillar and the butterfly um, and why they are so important, um, especially to us homesteaders or anybody that gardens. Um, they always have to deal with caterpillars in their garden, um, but also butterflies and beautiful moths as well. So, some of God's creations are absolutely beautiful and some of his creations are pretty much downright ugly at least in my opinion but with all of that all of God's creations all have a purpose I'm still trying to find that with the mosquito though and so now that it's springtime we have on many of the farms and just everywhere new births, new life, um, you have us gardeners that are sowing seed into the ground, bringing new plants, you have the trees blooming, everything is new, even the weeds that are coming up, the flowers, all of it, right? Which brings me to the butterfly, which is a beautiful cre creature that God has created. Um, it flies around, beautiful colors, um, pollinates our flowers, just a beautiful animal altogether. Um, but it did not start that way. So now that it's spring and the weather is absolutely gorgeous, I am out in the garden tending to it. I'm setting transplants out, transplanting a bunch of things. I am sowing new seed and I'm still harvesting from my winter garden and just tending to the garden all in general. And so, while I'm tending to the garden, um, there's caterpillars in the garden. And I'm, what I usually do is I'll take the caterpillars and I kind of put them in a little coffee can and um, then I feed them to my chickens later because it's a fabulous treat and they absolutely love them. Uh, and so that's what I do with the caterpillars. And I got to thinking to myself, gosh, I am literally putting these things in a coffee can to feed my chickens that are essentially going to be killed, eaten by the chickens, but they are also the very thing that I'm going to need later in the garden because they pollinate my garden. So all of a sudden it was like this love-hate relationship with a caterpillar because I knew it was going to become a butterfly. And so I started asking God, like, why did you create something that just wreaks havoc over these gardens? But yet, we also need them in the garden. First, they want to destroy it, but yet they pollinate it. And so, I went to my Bible. <laughs> and let me tell you what I found. It's getting close to fading. Time. So rude. Why are you growling, chicken? So... So caterpillars actually contain a substance in their DNA called anlogen. And this anlogen um, contains the DNA that actually produces the butterfly. And so, and so the caterpillar, it actually dies. And then these building blocks of this anlogen actually creates a new creature, which is the butterfly. So then the light went on. Like, I was like, wow, I get it, God. I see, I totally see the analogy. It's like 
we are, as man, we were the caterpillar. We, and some of us still are, we're, we're devouring, we're earthbound. Um, we're only seeing things from one point of view, you know, being stuck to the ground. Um, we're, we're so busy doing our selfish things, which like the caterpillar just eating, um, and staying in this own lane and then when we're made new in Christ we're a whole complete new creation where our old man dies and we see the world from a whole different view we're beautiful we get to fly around we see everything from a new perspective and we're just a whole new creation in Christ so I wanted to share a couple of scriptures that just totally relate to the caterpillar and the butterfly that just really touched my heart this whole week while working in the garden. Um, and so the first scripture I wanted to share was uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 16 uh, through 17. It says, so we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. How differently we know him now. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. Just like the caterpillar, which is such a great reminder. And the second scripture I wanted to share is in Galatians. And it's Galatians 2.20. And it's, My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And so those two scriptures just really touched my heart. And it's just a great reminder that we are new in Christ. Um, and he loves us. And for him to create a creature that resembles man so much when you really think about it. Um, and seeing something that is so ugly and just earthbound and just eating its way. And literally can just destroy a complete garden um, turn around and it's the very thing that we need for our garden that now pollinates um, and now gives life um, so that is just what I wanted to share with you today I always seem to find while working in the garden it's just such a nice peaceful time to be able to communicate with God and not only just praise and worship with him but it's such a great moment in the stillness just to actually hear from God and the caterpillar and the butterfly is just a great example um, so next time you see a butterfly I hope it gives you a great reminder that the old him had to die the old him that devoured and destroyed everything had to die for this new beautiful creation that now pollinates and gives life and it's the same with us and man to be able to put down our life for Christ and live a new beautiful life so I just wanted to share my talks with God in the garden with you because I thought it was just a great analogy that God had given me um, about the caterpillar and the butterfly and I just wanted to share with you guys so I hope this blessed you and until next time be blessed and be a blessing. I'll see you later, guys.